So early on, what's it like adapting to a new club? New players, new chemistry, new everything. Well, eight, man, that is a lot. But look, at the end of the day, the one thing that you learn is that it's just basketball. And the faster you can figure out your teammates in the system, the more success you and your team will have. And the starting lineup for the Pelicans. In the backcourt, it's McCollum and Jones. Ingram at the three with Williamson playing the four. And it's Valanciunas. Whoa, look out! Look out! Okay, I see you. As usual, Morant bringing down the house. With the Grizzlies, Richard, we've heard about an emphasis on defense in the past few years. Yeah, and there has been some improvement. They were a middle-of-the-road type defensive team not too long ago. But the last few seasons, they have played impact defense. Here's Morant. And he lays it straight in. Closer in. Look, let me just tell you, Morant, he's going to find a way to score. He just has such a fantastic touch around the rim. Outside, Jones. McCollum up top. Goes up to the stripe. A putback and stay with the play. Alan Shunis. Oh, how about the finesse there? Nice little gentle touch on the board. And you know, when you have that gentle touch, those tip ins are easy to come by. Morant outside. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. A great score. Morant showing his poise on that shot. And some changes here for the Grizzlies. Tillman's checked in, and Santi Aldama is subbed in for Jackson. The Pelicans also changing it up. Hawkins checked in for Herbert Jones. And Dyson Daniels subbed in for C.J. McCollum. Just over a minute and a half played here in this one. And the shot goes in. Moran's got eight points. So creative with the ball in his hands. Morant is adept at creating offenses for himself. Payne against Ingram. Over Bain. No good on the last second attempt there. And that concludes the first quarter of play. Memphis out in front. And for those of you just tuning in, the second quarter of action is where we're at right now. Guys, what's your take on the Grizzlies so far? You got to credit their defense. Communicating, rotating, making plays on the ball. It's been a group effort, and that's what it takes to play the kind of defense that they've played. Great showing from them. On the court right now, second quarter for the Pelicans. Hawkins is out there with C.J. McCollum. Then there's Trey Murphy. And it's Nance, and it's Marshall in at the four. That was big because they dug a big hole in the first quarter, but starting to show signs of life. There is no question, Greg, this Pelicans roster has the talent to at least be a playoff contender every year. No doubt a contender. Their problem has been staying healthy. They have a big three, but Ingram and Williamson didn't play in half the game on that 22-23 campaign. McCollum, no good. And on an open look like that, he's very gifted at making the weak coverage pay. Kennard against McCollum. Out to the right wing. Kennard finds Smart. Pocket six. And he banks in the lane. Smart's got the lead up to four now for the Grizzlies. Certain players search out contact. It's a skill. Marcus Smart is one of them. He is normally the person initiating the contact. Falcon shot good. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. Yeah, as soon as these guys feel contact, they are just disappearing like they're not even there. You gotta show some fire and keep defending. The shot's good from Kanar. The D just sagged off just enough and no hesitation on his part. Pass to Hawkins. From deep. Rebounded by Jackson. And the Grizzlies leading by five. One second separate in the shot clock and game clock. Here's Kennard. And again, it's Memphis with the three. Give them credit. Offensively, they've been the more efficient team. Yeah, coach has to be thrilled. You can draw up all the X's and O's you want, but guys have to go out there and execute with enthusiasm. 
Here's Hawkins. It's tipped. And so it's Memphis. In the driver's seat, up eight points at the end of the quarter. Their defense has been terrific in this game. Back to the action in just a minute. Welcome. Okay, hold up. We have a major situation here in the studio. Someone took my notebook. Who has it? Did you check everywhere? And now let's focus on our game. A strong first half for the Memphis Grizzlies. We don't get to see this every night. And that concludes... And for those of you just tuning in, thanks for being with us. The second half of this game still to play. You have to like what you're seeing from John Morant. He's done a fantastic job of finding open space to operate within the first few quarters. I like how they came into this one with the game plan, and they're just going out and executing it. Terrific job. In at the guard spots, Morant and Bain. Brandon Clark is out there with Jackson, and it's Williams at the three. And that's the group for Taylor Jenkins as we begin the second half. It's hard to quantify how impactful Jaron Jackson Jr. is on D. But he does so much. Yeah, the rim protection is elite. That's why he was Defensive Player of the Year, Greg. But he can also switch out on screens and not look lost. The sky is the limit for him defensively. And it's Ingram missing. And here's Moran. He'll bring it up for the Memphis Grizzlies. And a wide open look for Payne. Good and a nice assist from Moran. Baines got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively, for sure. And let's head over to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. Well, Jaron Jackson Jr. is a prolific shot blocker, but blocks aren't his goal. He said, I'm playing the game to not foul, but make it as hard as I can. If I block it, I'm cool. Avoiding those whistles is key. John Moran says of Jackson, his defensive presence is big time for us. We're a totally different team with him out there on the floor. Kevin? They are indeed. A DA, thank you. To the middle. Valanciunas passes to Williamson. Over Jackson. And Williamson throws it down. I'll, I'll tell you, Zion can do that all night. Terrific offensive rebound. Morant kicks to Williams. And the Grizzlies tack on two more. And really the story of this second half. One team getting the shots they want. The other, not so much. And start with their defense. They've been intense on that end. And they can actually help their offense as well. Now here's McCollum. Goes up with the strike. Rebound by Williams. See, that miss, that miss right there, it's why teams try to avoid the mid-range jumper these days. And so it's Memphis, sitting with a comfortable lead up by 14. They've had such great... And now let's go back to a play from earlier as we show you our State Farm assist of the game. Yeah, an easy choice tonight. Look at the precision on this pass. Put it on a platter for him. You've got to admire the vision just as much as the accuracy. Not many players can even spot that pass. And as we head into the fourth, we'll see if there's a comeback in the works or if it's more of the same from the first three quarters. So the Pelican five right now. The front court full of star power with Ingram and Zion. In the back court, it's McCollum and Jones. And it's Valanciunas in at the center filling out the middle. He'll put you on your heels in a hurry. Morant slicing through the D. Awesome display of athleticism captured by your AT&T 5G slam camp. Ingram left side. The shot comes out. Ingram with the steal. Rebound by Williams. And the Grizzlies leading by 13. Payne for three. Good. And a nice assist from Morant. Morant's got his third assist on the night. And guys, what we saw here tonight is one side having everything going for them. Huge 
huge margin of victory for the Grizzlies. When you consider the difference in their field goal percentages, the other team has to be happy that this wasn't a bigger loss. This team was on fire. Yeah, Kevin, it, it, it's always frustrating when you can't throw a rock on the ground and the other guys just can't seem to miss. And it'll go down as their first official win of the new year. And they'll take the win tonight, setting the tone in the first matchup of this four-game season series. And one of the key components to this victory, if not the biggest, was the incredible performance for John Morant. He was extremely efficient offensively, got good looks, and really knocked down big shots all game long. Jackson, and Jackson throws it down hard. And credit the whole team. It was a focused, concerted effort to put this one away. And it felt like they just flipped the switch to go on that run and seal the game. Saving their best basketball for the end. Always smart. McCollum against Clark. Outside, Jones. Alan Junis sets a screen for Jones. And no good, his first shot of the night, missing. And not allowing the shooter even an inch of breathing room on that one. I'm sure they'll think twice about shooting against him next time. Just outworking the shooter, keeping the shot off target, and bagging the rebound. So no problem for Memphis as they get the win. They poured it on a dominant showing in front of the crowd.